वेलकम बैक टू कैट कैम ट्यूटोरियल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिजाइन एंड असेंबल ए ब्यूटीफुल हाइड्रोलिक सिलेंडर सी हियर ईच एंड एवरी पार्ट वी विल डिजाइन एंड असेंबल एट द एंड ऑफ वीडियो सो कीप वॉचिंग लेट स्टार्ट Let's make the first part of hydraulic cylinder cylinder. So choose front plane sketch, and here we will draw two circles. And let's assign the dimension. Keep the big bigger circle two point three inch, and uh, inside one point four zero four eight two inch. Okay, and select extruded boss, and extrude up to fourteen inch, and make sure mid plane. That's it. Okay. Now select top plane sketch normal, and here we want to create two holes for a fluid inlet and outlet. okay and select this center point of hole and origin point make relation vertical now let's assign the dimension 0.4 mm and from one end 1 inch this is 0.4 inch this also from this end 1 inch and 0.4 inch hole dia select okay and let's extrude cut make reverse direction select okay now see the holes created for cylinder now select this face and uh, choose hole wizard select tab inch and here select bottoming tab hole and here select 6 by 40 inch blind height 0.6 0.04 tab thread depth now select position place one here escape go to sketch and define the distance make 0.84 inch okay and select the center point and origin point and make relation horizontal okay and select here okay now you can see the one tapped hole created now select circular pattern select this inside circle hole and we want to create four number of holes that's it okay now select detailing and click here shaded cosmetic thread okay maybe you can see the thread inside now we will just mirror this hole so select front plane and choose here mirror and select this tab hole and circular pattern you can see it's going to mirror opposite direction select okay now here it it's mirror okay now we want to create one more thing first select okay this is your so select this back surface and create one plane make the distance 0.7 inch flip direction inside select okay now select this plane choose sketch select normal now select circle and draw one circle and keep the diameter 2 inch 
okay now now select outer circle and just convert it now we want to cut it some select extruded cut and cut up to 12.6 mm select okay 12.6 inch sorry now hide this plane now we will assign some material so that it looks clear we will assign clear glass so we can see inside what will happen during assembly now see this is the our cylinder while assembly we will see what exactly going inside so now save it just go to desktop create new folder select hydraulic cylinder now give first part name cylinder now save as now let's move for a next part now we will sketch second part cylinder close end so choose front plane uh, first we will make inch then choose front plane sketch now draw a horizontal line and make sure it is horizontal now start it start from origin connect with this line and connect at the end exit now let's assign dimension 1.15 inch the upper dimension 0.15 inch 0.5 inch and the distance from here One point four zero four eight two by two. Select OK. Now this distance point five inch and the length only one point two five inch. OK. Now select this line. Revolve body. Select OK. now the body here selected now choose right front plane sketch normal choose corner rectangle and here draw one rectangle and assign the dimension 1.5 inch and the width 0.05 inch and the distance from outer line keep 0.3 inch okay select center line and draw one horizontal line make sure the line is horizontal okay select the line and select here revolve cut now we want to make one groove here for slit uh, seal piston seal okay now see the groove created here choose chamfer 0.01 select this face and select its opposite face okay now select this face is sketch and we want to make some bore here and keep the diameter 0.75 inch one point five inch i think seventy five is better 
seven five inch. Now select extruded cut and inside up to one point seven five inch. Okay. Inside we want to create one chamfer. Select the inside edge. Okay. Now select this face, make normal, and here we want to create some hole. Select hole wizard and select here countersink. Choose inch. And here you can select socket counter suck head cap. We need six close end and uh, blind select through all. Now choose position. Make sure it is uh, horizontally with origin point. Assign distance. Zero point eighty four inch. Select OK and make sure both the point in horizontal position. OK. Select OK. Now see the hole is created. Now we want to make four number of holes. So choose circular pattern. Select this as a edge as a round path. Choose four numbers. Select OK. Now our geometry is finished. We will assign some color so it will identify. OK. Now save as cylinder close end. Okay. Now let's move for the next part. This is the third part of hydraulic cylinder. Cylinder open end. Last time we make close end. So choose front plane. Convert it inches. Front plane. Draw a first center line, a horizontal center line. Make sure it is horizontal. Now select line and draw a geometry. connect it with this line and connect up to origin point now let's assign dimension 1.15 inch 0.15 inch this width keep 1.40482 by 2 inch and the length 0.5 inch this width keep 0.5 inch and the length we need is small 0.7 inch okay now select this end this line as a axis and choose circular revolve boss base okay Now again choose front plane, sketch, normal, draw a horizontal line, select corner rectangle and here draw one rectangle. We want to create some groups for uh, hydraulic seals, 0.1 inch, 0.05 inch and the distance from this end 0 0.3 inch okay now here select revolve cut 
this line as a axis selected now it's going to cut choose ok now here select fillet 0 1 and select this inside face of cutout both face ok now we will make next op operation select this face sketch normal and here select one circle keep the diameter Seventy six, seventy four, fifty two inch. Okay. Now extrude cut and choose here through all. Okay. Now see the through all hole created. Now we want to create one plane here, so select this face and choose plane and create one plane 0 0.19 inch slip direction inside ok now now select this plane choose sketch normal and draw one circle because we want to create some groove inside and make the diameter 0 0.926 inch ok and select extruded cut cut inside direction and keep the length 0 0.108 inch ok now you can see the grooves created assign fillet 0 0.01 this face and opposite face also we need we need to apply it's difficult to see I think this is opposite direction ok now select this face select normal and here we want to create some countersunk hole so choose hole wizard select countersink choose inch and here select socket countersunk head and size keep 6 inch choose close end and here select through all Now choose position, it should be parallel to origin point, assign the distance, the same 0 0.84 inch, ok, now select ok, ok, now choose circular pattern, select this round as a axis and we want 4 number of holes equal spacing, ok. now our geometry is ready just hide this plane so this is the open end cap cylinder uh, let us assign some color so it will be easily visible during assembly now save as cylinder open end save let's move for a next part now the next part we will make piston so let's start choose top plane sketch and here draw two circles and assign the diameter outer keep 0 0.68 inch and the inside 1.4042 inch
select this okay this is actually outer okay and this is smaller one 68 it, it is insider okay now extrude it and extrude up to 0.2 inch okay now select right plane sketch normal and here select 2d dimension let's define a center line draw a center line exit and draw one center line from ori vert vertical center line from origin point make sure it is vertical now select corner rectangle and draw two rectangles okay now let's assign dimension zero point zero five six inch okay and this length 0.075 inch now select these three lines and make relation here symmetric okay now we will assign one more thing select this line and this line and make collinear and here also this line and this line collinear now this relation created now assign this dimension 0.107 inch and the distance from center line keep 0.29 inch that's it okay now select revolve cut select this line as a center line now see we want to cut make grooves inside and outside okay now our grooves ready see inside and outside so this is the piston and for piston we will assign some color okay uh, let's assign red color so it will visible inside now save as piston okay let's go for a next part now we will make next part shaft so choose front plane sketch first draw a horizontal line from origin point and make sure it is horizontal choose line connect with this point and end with origin point exit now let's assign dimension zero point three one two five inch this vertical horizontal length one point three seven five inch okay now this length 0.769452 by 2 inch and assign the length 11.9 inch okay now drag this all points here drag this point also downward now let's assign this zero point sixty eight by two inch and the length 
zero point two inch and this one zero point three six eight by two inch and the length keep zero point three inch now this is your exact design now select this bottom line and choose revolve boss base select ok now choose chamfer and select here 0 0.03 and select one end this end ok now select the part body and assign color orange okay so now this is the our shaft piston shaft save as piston shaft okay let's move for the next part Now the next part we will sketch open end mounting. So choose top plane sketch, draw a circle and keep the diameter 1 inch. Ok and select extruded boss and extrude up to one point six seven zero four four three eight inch okay now select this back space a sketch and draw one circle here and keep the dia zero point three one two five into two inch okay and select extruded cut and up to one point three seven five inch not through all okay choose a chamfer select this end only but here choose 0 0.5 0 0.05 inch it is also big Zero point zero two inch ok that's it Now again choose top plane sketch normal now draw a horizontal line and make sure it is passing through origin draw one vertical line also select corner rectangle and draw one rectangle and assign the length 0 0.875 mm and width 0 0.0625 inch and the distance from ori center point zero point four three seven five okay now select this line center line and this outer line and make a relation symmetric okay now choose mirror and we want to mirror select center line and here select this lines okay 
now select extruded extruded cut and choose through all select reverse direction okay that's it now here we want to create one sphere make sure front plane sketch normal draw a center line make sure it is vertical select circle and draw one circle here okay now assign the dimension keep diameter 1.5 inch and the distance from bottom line 2.5 inch okay now select a line and connect from one end to this end choose stream entity and delete half circle okay now select three point arc and select this line and this point and connect it choose stream entities uh, no need i think uh, just we will try to fix this tangent okay now it is tangent with this point and if possible tangent with this line it's better okay okay now this is fully defined we will connect this end with this end and close with this end exit now select this line choose revolve boss base and here select this face and this face okay now see it is defined now again we will choose top plane sketch normal make reverse okay now define one center line construction line and assign one vertical line choose corner rectangle make one rectangle now let's assign this rectangle cancel it uh, it's just make bigger select this rectangle mirror about reverse it's already mirror due to some choose mirror now select this three lines four lines and mirror about this center line okay now choose gap and make the gap 0.484375 inch that's it now select extruded cut choose here offset or select through all but select 
from this plane uh, i think no or choose offset 1.670848438 again we will add it choose reverse direction and this one select reverse see we want to cut it from this surface select ok select ok now this much portion leave means we have to do some editing do editing just increase this height that's it ok exit now see it looks a perfect body choose fillet Zero point six five six two five inch. Select this end and another end. Okay. Now that's it. Now select front plane. Sketch normal. And find out the center point. And draw a circle. Keep the diameter one point one two five inch. Okay, and select extruded cut. Choose here mid plane, and select through all both side. Okay. Now again choose front plane, sketch, normal. Draw a circle. Find just find out the center point. Up to this line, or even you can convert it. Select line, exit, choose stream entity and delete half circle. Okay. Now select revolve boss base and select this center line as a axis. Okay. Now see a ball created. now we want to create some uh, we want to cut something so okay select top plane a sketch normal now we want to cut these balls draw a one center line select rectangle mirror about select the rectangle and mirror about this line and assign the center distance 0.75 inch Okay. Select extruded cut. Choose offset and offset defined one point seven one point seven or more one point nine inch. Sorry, one point nine inch. Even this also not suitable. Okay, this is better suitable, and this one select reverse. See it here. 
so select ok now you can see the balls cut now select the center this cut out face of ball sketch normal and here we want to create a hole so first draw circle and keep this diameter zero point six two five inch and select extruded cut choose through all okay now see the holes created choose chamfer select both the end zero point two inch zero two inch okay here we can create thread but it will take too much time so this time we will not create thread just assign the color to the whole body yellowish okay now save this part as a open end mounting okay now let's go for a next close end mounting now we will make close end mounting so choose top plane a sketch and let's start exit select corner rectangle and draw one rectangle downward direction select one circle and draw one circle also exit now let's assign the dimension now this dimension 0.375 inch and make the height 1.75 inch okay and diameter 1.75 and the distance whole center distance 2.875 inch that's it okay now choose three point arc and connect from exit select the circle and this arc and assign tangent the same as this line and this arc tangent this is the relation created choose a line connect from one end to this end exit choose trim entity and delete this half circle select ok now we will revolve it choose select now here select this face and this face ok now see this body created first we will make some cutouts here we will prefer no top plane ok better cut it from the top plane or choose right plane A sketch normal first draw a center line horizontal center line and make sure it is horizontal ok select corner rectangle and draw one rectangle
ओके चूज मेरर मेरर अबाउट दिस लाइन ओके ना असाइन दी गैप now here some relation we want to delete delete this concentric relation and delete this all the relations just delete now you can edit this dimension again a sign zero point five three five nine three seven five inch okay select line and connect from here to this point mirror about this line okay select trim entities and trim those parts okay now select again do one thing just increase so the whole body will cover extruded cut choose mid plane okay now see this created this is the right plane actually now choose top plane sketch normal select circle and find out origin point a uh, center point and draw one hole circle here we want to create a hole here so keep the diameter 1.3125 inch and select here extruded cut select mid plane okay again choose top plane sketch select this circle outer circle convert entities oh sorry convert entities see the whole is converted normal select a line and make one vertical line trim entity and delete this half circle okay select revolve boss base and select this line okay now see a ball created now this ball also we want to create uh, trim it we prefer top plane a uh, front plane a sketch normal first draw a center line now select corner rectangle draw a rectangle select mirror and mirror about this center line okay now assign the mid distance 0.875 inch that's it now select extruded cut okay now see it is cut now select this face sketch normal and here we want to create a hole so find out the origin point and create one hole make the diameter 0.75 inch and select extruded cut 
choose through all ok see now here choose chamfer 0 0.02 select both the ends ok we want to make one chamfer here also 0 0.4 clear sorry 0 0.04 ok now assign color yellow to recognize properly so this is the closed end mounting here we we want to create a thread but it will take too much time so now save it closed end mounting okay let's move for a next part Now we will sketch nipple fitting. So choose front plane, select a word horizontal line, Now let's assign the distance. Zero point five inch. That's it. Zero point one inch. zero point one eight one eight inch okay zero point two inch zero point three inch okay now this one we want downward this one more zero point three eight inch zero point two two inch zero point one inch zero point one five inch now assign this distance zero point one inch and this length also zero point two inch zero point one five inch okay select this line vertical now define this gap zero point two inch now our geometry is fully defined now connect one end to another end exit
select revolve boss face ok now select this face is sketch normal and here we want to create a hole so create one small hole select zero point zero point one inch select extruded cut and choose through all ok here select we want to create one big hole here zero point two five 0.2 inch select extruded boss and extrude up to 0 0.5 0.5 now look at here now select this face sketch normal choose hexagon ok now select extruded boss select flip side and choose up to next or select up to surface ok now you can see this is our first uh, edit this sketch and this one end make small uh, quite big small 0 0.15 ok now select this face sketch normal and select polygon up to this line ok select extruded cut here also choose flip side to cut and select up to surface up to this surface ok now see choose chamfer ok zero point zero three select this end ok now go to insert annotation choose cosmetic thread here you have to select age so select this age and select this face and here select through all choose ok now select detailing 
choose here shaded cosmetic thread now see here cosmetic thread we selected okay now this is the nipple for uh, inlet and outlet pipe fitting now save as fitting go to our uh, hydraulic cylinder okay now we will sketch o ring for open end cylinder choose front plane sketch select circle and assign the distance zero point four two five inch and the diameter zero point zero eight inch okay draw one vertical line choose revolve boss base select okay and for o-ring we will assign some rubber material Choose here rubber texture assigned mat rubber. Save as O ring for open open end cylinder. Okay. Let's go for next o-ring. Now we will make open o-ring for open end cylinder. So choose front plane, sketch, draw a circle, and assign the distance gap. Zero point six eight zero five inch, and keep the diameter zero point zero six inch. Select center line, draw one center line. Select the origin point and hold circle center point and relation horizontal. Okay. Now select revolve boss base. See the center line selected as a axis. Okay. Assign rubber mat. Now save as O-ring for open end cylinder two. We will make the o-ring for piston. Choose front plane, sketch, draw a circle, just horizontal, parallel with uh, origin point, and make sure the circle point and origin point in same line, horizontal. Now assign the distance from origin. Keep. 0.67625 inch and the diameter 
zero point zero six two five inch. Draw a vertical center line. Now select revolve boss base. See. Okay. And assign mat rubber. Okay. Save as. hydraulic cylinder o-ring for pist piston 1 now we will make the pist piston second o-ring Now we will make second piston o-ring, choose front plane, a sketch, draw a circle. Now let's assign the gap between 0 0.368 inch and the diameter of circle 0 0.06 inch. and draw one vertical line construction line and make sure both in horizontal position select revolve boss base ok now assign the material rubber mat, mat rubber now save as o-ring for piston 2 this is the second pi piston o-ring now we will sketch the last part hexagonal bolt so choose top plane sketch first draw a circle then choose hexagon polygon now let's assign dimension diameter keep 0 0.368 mm uh, inch and this width 0 0.375 into 2 inch ok now select extruded boss choose here mid plane 0 0.285 ok now again choose this face sketch select hexagon and create one hexagon uh, sorry better select circle and mat up to this point it should be tangent with outer line now select extruded cut choose flip side and here select angle 45 degree ok now select top plane mirror about and mirror this extrude cut out ok now see it is mirror choose chamfer zero point zero five inch ok now let's assign material stainless steel now save as nut now we will start the assembly of hydraulic cylinder so let's start select new 
here choose assembly okay first browse any one component make be first cylinder now adjust the screen quality uh, model quality always keep higher so the edges will looks like a very perfect refresh background i'll prefer white plain and this unit always in inches now second part i'll bring open end mounting piston shaft okay now first we will assemble this piston shaft and this mounting so choose mat select this circular part and this part make reverse okay now here select inside face and select this face okay now it is fixed now select this cylinder and this shaft make relation concentric okay now move it now select right plane of cylinder okay and mounting and front plane of mounting coincident okay okay now it is parallel with this now browse our next component insert and choose here cylinder open end okay choose mat select this rod and this face reverse concentric okay now select this face and this face okay now here we want to match the holes so just little drag it here clear now first uh, let select this bar and this one make relation maybe some miss delete this relation okay now again maybe some relation by mistake in ah uh, okay delete this relation now choose select this one and the shaft make relation concentric okay now we want to make select the hole now this whole face selected and this face we want concentric okay now see it is fixed here 
now we will define this phase and this phase go to advanced mat choose uh, we want to define minimum 0 0.35 and maximum 10.2 okay okay now let's see it will open up to here not more than and this is end okay now insert cylinder close end choose mat select this one and this face round ok now select the inside hole and co-centric now select this face and this face ok now the hole in their place select ok now insert a component choose fitting now just rotate the component ok now select mat select this inside hole and this one co-centric ok now select this surface and this bottom face and make relation tangent ok now this one side fixed press control and copy and make one part for the another end select inside hole choose mat and select this circle coincident ok now select this bottom face of head and this barrel tangent relation ok so now fitting is fi fixed now we will move for next part insert browse and now this time we will browse close ending mounting ok now just rotate it first ok now assign relation choose met select this bar and this hole ok now select the inside face of hole and this face ok now we will assign one more relation select this face and this face and it should be parallel relation ok now it is parallel it will not move here and there ok now select this cylinder and click hide component now insert now choose piston assign now here we want to fix some rings o-rings choose here o-ring for piston now here we will assign some relation so first we will do one thing just rotate both the component ok select temporary axis choose mat select this ring axis and piston axis collinear 
coincident ok now select this face and ring reverse ok now insert second ring o-ring piston o-ring for piston now choose mat select this axis and this axis coincident ok now this face and this face reverse direction ok ok now here we will fix this face inside round face mat and this face ok now select this back face and this face ok now here we will fix some uh, nut temporary axis resolve now select this part and show component now see you can see your piston piston and head now just move your see piston going up this is the full assembly here we want to add some nut bolts first save our assembly save as assembly go to design library go to nc inch here bolts and screw in bolts and screw there is one option you can see here socket head screw and here you will se select socket countersunk head now here you have to assign the things select this one 60 by 4 0.75 0 0.75 hexagonal head type ok ok now drag it here rotate this component ok now we will assign some relation here select this tapered face and this face directly coincide ok now we will choose copy with mat method select component and select this face choose ok again select this face ok and the last one this face ok ok now see the bolts are fixed now we will go to next end for this end also you can drag one more socket head counter suck cap screw the same 6 by 40 inch 0.75 and 0.75 length ok we want only one number so click cancel now select this counter part mat and this part choose reverse ok now we will again try the same method copy with mat select component and this here select this counter again choose this tapered portion ok the last one ok so now all these screws are fixed you can see it here
now you can see how our piston moving inside so this is the beautiful piston now here we will make insert nut so choose insert component and select nut choose met select this shaft and this hole coincide uh, concentric okay select nut face and shaft face okay now this relation success now we want to insert some o ring piston for open end cylinder here show temporary axis select mat select this axis and this axis it is showing concentric okay now here just select the inside grooves face and o ring see it's fixed select here reverse now it's almost fixed okay now again we will browse the same o ring o ring for open end cylinder and go to this end now select this axis mat and o ring axis it is concentric coincident now select this ball and o ring keep reverse okay now here o ring fixed now hide the all temporary axis Uh, we forget to add one more o ring select this uh, shaft hide now insert o ring for cylinder open that's it now choose mat select this axis and this axis where this o-ring gone just hide the body ok o-ring here just take it out show component choose mat select this wall clear select this face mat and this o ring select reverse direction okay now o ring fixed here okay now show piston shaft now see it's showing here now hide this temporary axis and show the cylinder also now see now our piston is ready hydraulic cylinder is ready this is the hydraulic cylinder now see we already allocate the maximum and minimum dimension you can move up and now save the component 
Please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks. So this is the complete tutorial of hydraulic cylinder. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe our channel and don't forget to share and like our videos. Thanks for watching.